Welcome to the recap of the White Sox loss to the Seattle Mariners Tuesday night at Guaranteed Rate Field on the south side of Chicago. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Drive what Justin Fields drives. Folks, the Sox got drilled again. They lost. They weren't very good in the pitching department. They weren't very good in the offensive department. They lose. That's enough about that game because that's all they're going to keep doing is losing 90% of their games the rest of the season. The big news is that Jerry Reinsdorf did something that not many thought he would do. He fired Kenny Williams and Rick Hahn today, and he is cleaning house in baseball operations. Stunning news. Stunning news. Because the disconnect between Kenny and Rick was so deep there was no way to salvage this thing. The club is terrible. The culture there is awful. And it's got to be completely rebuilt. Bob Nightingale reported that Jerry Reinsdorf has been conducting interviews with people at, that work for the White Sox that he trusts to get their opinion on the dynamic between the two men, Kenny and Rick. And I'm going to tell you a story now that I have never, ever told publicly that is 100% true. First of all, I can tell you that Kenny Williams had authority to make trades with the New York Yankees and with the Miami Marlins. That's right. He's not the GM anymore, but he had authority to make trades with two teams. That's just ridiculous. I also know the trade that sent Jake Berger to Miami was a Kenny Williams trade, not a trade Rick Hahn wanted to make. Now the story I'm going to tell you. I have a friend by the name of Ryan McGuffey. He works for NBC Sports Chicago. Last summer, Ryan was a guest talking White Sox on my then unfiltered show when I worked at NBC. Ryan was critical of what was going on with the White Sox and talked a lot about Rick Hahn being the GM and needing to make certain moves in the upcoming offseason. That next day, I go to the ballpark to do my show. I walk on the field, and there's Kenny Williams standing right there. Hey, Cap, come here. I walk over. Yeah, what's up? Who the F is Ryan McGladry, Kenny says to me. Who the F is Ryan McGladry? I said, who? Ryan McGladry, little guy with red hair. Who the F is he? Uh, do you mean Ryan McGuffey? Yeah, McGuffey, McGladry, whatever. Who is he? I said, well, he's the head of the White Sox content team over there. You tell that little mf -er, Kenny Williams is still in charge, not Rick Hahn. Kenny Williams is still in charge, and I'm still here. At that very moment, my phone rings. It's... Ryan McGuffey, my guy, Guff. Hey, Kenny, look who's calling. I hand the phone to Kenny. He answers it and airs out Ryan McGuffey. You better get something straight right now. I'm still in charge, not Rick. Blah, 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 F this, F that. You talk about embarrassing? You talk about a pathetic display from an executive? Kenny Williams, that's a fact. You can also hear it on the White Sox Talk podcast from NBC Sports Chicago, which will drop late tonight or tomorrow. That is a 100% true story. The culture over there, awful. It better get cleaned up. You deserve better. Have a great rest of your night. Take that.